everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's video sponsored by The Game Crafter. In today's video we're going to be giving you a review for a solo game called Desolate that we have been playing over this long video series. We're doing four parts. This is the final part which is my review of this game. Bam, there it is. It's a solo player solitary game in which you're basically trying to escape from an outpost. You're trying to gather energy cells to uh, get out, but unfortunately aliens and all kinds of things are trying to mess with you. You're running out of oxygen and you could lose that way or if your health gets run out. What's interesting with this game itself is not only is it just a solitary game in which you're trying to put, position things correctly, so to speak, you're also pushing your luck, and in, there's two instances in which you're doing that. One is you are drawing two cards from the deck, one you see, one you don't, and you have to decide, do you want to deal with this card here, or do you want to push your luck and flip over the next card and get rid of this one? There are two energy cells in the deck, and every time you go through the deck, you run the risk of either getting none or up to two, and you need five. But when you lose your deck, you're going to lose oxygen, which simulates time passing. So you have to be very careful as to how you want to pull things. But at the same instance in the deck is also combat cards and aliens and whatnot. So you're like, oh, do I actually want to go for the 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 mystery when I've got the two here, the two alien? Maybe this could be a six, but it also could be an energy cell. So you have to kind of decide what you want to do and how you want to do. And that makes a huge difference in the game. Those choices can mount you incredible benefits or not so uh, great <laughs> outcomes for you. Uh, additionally, too, it's when you have to deal with aliens, and you will have to deal with aliens in the game. You're going to be hit instantly, regardless of whether you want to be or not. And additionally, you have to decide, once again, by pushing your luck, how many die you want to use to defeat the alien based on its health. If the alien has eight health, do you want to use two or maybe even three die? You definitely don't want to use one because you're not going to do the damage that is going to be needed to destroy the alien. Some aliens will give you large or small crates, which are basically the opposite side of the exploration cards. Speaking of which both decks utilize the cards really well. There is a slash in between them. For the exploration you're going to have basically whether you're going to fight an alien or get some kind of location that's going to give you something. And on the opposite side is going to be a large and a small chest that can basically give you benefits whether it be ammo or oxygen or health that can provide you with lasting power throughout the game which you're going to need to gather in addition to the energy chambers. The combat deck is your basic alien and its health that it starts with additionally uh, another space for where you're going to place the health from the, the exploration card and on the opposite side is going to be how much damage it deals after the fact of its initial damage. Uh, and it kind of provides a unique variation from even zero to four or five damage. You're basically going to try and go throughout this game and there's a ton of tension and stress as you do so because you're worried if you've missed a certain thing that you need in order to succeed. And if you're not watching carefully, you can perish in either way. And in fact, the game can come down to some really close ones. I've lost this game, I've won this game, and I've noticed that the more pertinent choices I've made, the better choices I make in the game that distinguish me from when I first played the original couple times has actually gotten me a little better at at winning the game. Now there are certain cases where you're just going to not get the greatest luck ever and you're going to have to deal with only getting one energy to no energy every single time you go through that deck and eventually you're going to have to try and gather oxygen or just simply run out of breath. What's also cool about the game too is the item cards. The item cards are going to allow you to determine of the three you draw which two you want and whether they're going to give you additional stats in the game which are so good. But then additionally, there are these passive and active cards that you can use, whether it be once a round, which is per time you go through the deck, once a game, which is an entire game, and then periodically throughout the game, whether it be plus two in combat for every combat. Uh, some are better than others, but sometimes you just don't get lucky enough to get those cards, and you have to kind of make do with what you have, and you're going to utilize those cards, and it'll become part of your gameplay. Desolate is a great solo player game. I think for most people who enjoy a small card game that is a solo, sol solitaire style game with a bit of push your luck and strategy, this is going to be a game for you. It's a game I've played many, many times over making the course of these four videos, and and each time I've enjoyed myself. I've even played it live and you can watch that as well if you're interested and I've shown you from the previous walkthrough how to play and what it looks like and how close it can come down and it can come down very close. The game is mainly in just black and white. You've got some kind of like eerie type of feel. It's not really a horror game. It's a little bit of a sci-fi meets this like dark style game. 
I really enjoy this game. It's gotten a ton of great reviews and for good reason. If you're interested in taking a look at Desolate, I suggest you take a look down below in the link to the Game Crafter where you can go ahead and pick up this game, which comes included with all the components I showed you in the previous videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this series on Desolate from the Game Crafter. If you're interested in continuing following us with this series, we'll be doing another video once again with another four-parter and maybe even we'll do some even bigger games and some small ones from the Game Crafter as well. I have appreciate you guys watching and as always I look forward to seeing you guys next time.